My name is Joe Rudy, and I own the Butterfly Company. Uh, we are suppliers of butterflies and insects from small family farms all over the world. We supply artists, designers, producers, um, and artists all over the country. If you've seen butterflies uh, in a Martha Stewart Home magazine, on Mariah Carey, or uh, at a Smithsonian Museum, for instance, we might have provided those. Originally, this started for me as a passion and uh, something that I would do on nights and weekends. And at that time, I had a very small space in this building. It was an office space about the size of a prison cell in the basement with a little window up in the corner um, where I would come and work at nights and on my time off. And since then, we've gone through three different spaces in this building as we've grown the business and uh, developed what we do. The process of working with butterflies and insects is fairly simple and it hasn't changed since Victorian times, but it is time consuming and very delicate work. Um, so to open a butterfly from a closed position that a farm would send them to us in takes about three to five days and it's a process involving rehydration of the wings, uh, and then you can open them with small paper strips very carefully, and then the butterfly needs time to dry again, so another two to three days typically. So that's the process just to get one butterfly open. So a piece with you know, dozens or hundreds of butterflies in it, you can imagine, takes uh, many, many hours. One of the most difficult things about our business uh, would probably have to be working with butterflies themselves. You know, we talk about how delicate and fragile they are, um, but some of the more exotic butterflies around the world with long wispy tails that are sometimes only millimeters wide, you know, as thick as a couple hair strains. Um, if we're preparing or opening those butterflies and we break one, you know, we can easily ruin a $500 or $1,000 specimen. But, Part of our favorite things about the business is talking with different customers and clients around the country and what they love about butterflies or the insect world and experiences that they might have had that have an emotional connection to butterflies. Everybody asks about uh, what is my favorite butterfly and with tens of thousands of species to choose from that's incredibly difficult to answer. Uh, Morpho Diana is probably one of my favorite butterflies. Morpho Diana is an incredible iridescent lavender blue. And uh, they're extremely rare um, because they only come from a small region of Venezuela. Uh, and it's generally believed they're extinct now because of habitat loss to human expansion. One of my other favorite pieces is called the Green Lady Walking Sticks. These are some of the, the biggest leaf bugs in the world. And uh, they're scientifically incredible. Uh, they go through something called homocophagus, which means that they reproduce themselves. Um, they don't need a male. The females lay unfertilized eggs, which give birth to more females. Working with butterflies is easy, and anybody can do it, and we can show you how. Um, we have classes once a month, of which we'd love to have you join. Uh, you could call us for more information about those, um, and we'd love to have you come visit us as well uh, at our office in Bridgeport. Three things that I would love people to take away from the Butterfly Company are that uh, butterflies are approachable and easy to work with, if you know how, and we can show you how to do that. Uh, there are an unknown number of butterfly species in the world and a never-ending supply of things to learn and discover about the butterfly and insect world. And butterflies are some of the most beautiful things in the world. We have examples to prove it.